Hello everybody, Andy from Andy's Travel Blog here on a very special day. It is New Drone Day. So which new drone did I get? Well, before I get into that, let's talk about the drone I currently have, okay? This is a DJI Phantom 4 Pro. This thing has been with me on three or four continents now. It shoots 4K video, has a 20 megapixel, this thing's falling off, has a 20 megapixel sensor here uh, with a mechanical shutter, which is great. Um, Fly is great, is surprisingly durable. I'm kind of surprised I haven't killed it yet. Um, it's great. Uh, I've been really happy with the video, I've been really happy with the photos, obviously, and I hope you've been happy with the photos um, as well. Here's the thing, though. So, here is my carry on bag I take with me on most of my trips. It's a, uh, a Victorinox 22 inch something or other. I don't know. I love it. I'll see if I can find a link to it. Um, I really recommend this bag. should probably do a video about it. Um, but let's take a look here. So this is the space I have inside. And let's put the drone in. So you can see it fits in there. Now, if I take the propellers off, it fits in a little bit more nicely. So it does fit in there. But it takes up a lot of room. So as an example, if you follow the blog, which you should, it's andystravelblog.com. Um, the writing is pretty marginal, but the pictures are good. So I went to Singapore and Bali and Australia uh, for about a month, month and a half last uh, winter uh, or summer in Australia. And with the drone and the drone controller, which is right here, we'll get into that more in a second, I didn't have enough room for my other stuff. And I was going on a work trip, so I had to pack like a lot of clothes. I didn't have room for the drone. And that was kind of stunk man i wanted to take my drone with me now i know everybody's saying well andy why didn't you get the mavic pro well the mavic pro is great but it wasn't that much smaller to me it didn't feel that much smaller um, so i've had to leave the drone behind a couple more times than i wanted to um, so what i've been looking for is something very small uh, so i was looking at the dji spark but i felt like that was too small and it didn't shoot 4k video uh, and it didn't really have that good of a range. So the Spark was, it, was, it wasn't enough. So I needed something less than the Mavic Pro and more than the Spark. Well, today I got this, the DJI Mavic Air. This thing is tiny. It's hard for me to express it to you with words let me show it to you with the magic of video. Now, as I'm shrinking this down into its most portable size, I want you to bear in mind that this shoots 4K video. Uh, it shoots 4K video at a higher bitrate actually than the Mavic Pro. It folds up like this with all the propellers attached. Are you kidding? Okay, so here's the Mavic Air right here. This is my iPhone 10. Look at that. That's incredible. This thing is tiny. So there've been a lot of YouTubers who have already reviewed the video quality of this. And honestly, like I wish you could see behind me right now, the wind is just fierce today here in Dallas. So I'm not gonna do a flight test of it yet. I will do a full flight review of it soon, but I just wanna compare just how, how small this thing is. So number one, this is how small it is with the propellers attached versus the DJI Phantom 4 Pro with the propellers attached. It's, it's not even a comparison, honestly. Uh, so why am I doing it? I don't know, but that's just, that's just how great this is. Let's talk about the battery. So this is the Phantom 4 Pro battery. And here is the, I think you have to unfold the legs to get to it. See how easy it is to unfold the legs. Okay, so here is a battery for the Mavic Air. Here's the battery for the Phantom 4 Pro. Now, it does need to be said that the Phantom 4 Pro has about a 29 to 30 minute flight time, supposedly. I can get about 20 to 25 minutes. The Mavic Air gets about 21 minutes is what they say, so figure probably 14 or 15 minutes of flight time. These things are tiny. I mean, look at that. I mean, honestly, the, the body of the Mavic Air is mostly the battery. I mean, that's how big the battery cavity is. And uh, let's see, how does this fit in there? So it's like this, put that in there, you're ready to go. So the battery's tiny. Let's look at the remote. So the remote 
for the Phantom 4 Pro is this big thing. Now, it's this big for a good reason. That is a big difference between the Phantom 4 Pro and the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Air and the Spark. So this uses a radio signal to transmit commands to the drone, which means you have a longer range. So I think four kilometers with the Phantom 4 Pro. This, if I can find it, where did I put it? This is the remote control for the Mavic Air. So it just kind of unfolds and you put your phone in right here and you're good to go. So this versus this. So the Mavic Air uses a Wi-Fi connection, so it gets good range, but it's not great range. I think it's limited to two kilometers. Uh, I don't really know what that is in, in miles, because I mean, who, who wants to do the math? I'm just kidding. It's, see, two times six is 12. You drop the last digit or move the decimal place one over to the left. A little math trick for you. So it's about 1.2 miles of range, which I think is plenty. Uh, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, this is this little tiny guy is the remote. So I think that's great, even though it's a Wi-Fi connection, and not a radio connection. Um, and real quick, let me just give you some first impressions of everything. Number one, the Mavic Air comes uh, in a very nice little package. I do recommend getting the Fly More combo, which is I think $200 more. Uh, that's because you get a couple extra batteries, you get a little charging case, and you get a nice little baggie that comes with everything. Um, so that's great. And I mean, even another thing about this that I'm thinking about, where the Mavic Air, where did it go? It's so small, I already lost it. That's a battery. Here we go. Okay, so this little guy has obstacle avoidance sensors here on the front and the bottom. So three-way obstacle avoidance. I mean, goodness, just look at this little thing. So I'm in love with this thing. My first impressions are is it is exactly what I was looking for with the exception that I would prefer a better camera, but you can't really fit a better camera on something this small. What I think is gonna be interesting is if they take the existing Mavic Pro and they take the one inch Sony sensor from the Phantom 4 Pro, put it on the existing Mavic Pro for like a Mavic Pro 2 or something, I think that's gonna be pretty compelling. But until they do that, this little 4K video shooting uh, monster here is gonna be great. And I'm just, I'm super pumped about it. So. I just wanted to share that quick comparison with you. As far as like video samples, I'm gonna get those up as soon as I can, but I just got it today, it just came out today. I know people are wondering. It is as small as they say it is. So I'm super pumped about it, uh, and I can't wait to take it on a trip with me. So, uh, quick comparison, I'll give you my uh, full review at a later date, but just wanted to get it up for now. So until next time, this is Andy from Andy's Travel Blog. Take care, we'll see you in the skies.